For more on auto sales, let's bring in Marianne Keller, the president of consulting firm Marianne Keller & Associates. Her clients include major domestic and foreign automakers. Ms. Keller, welcome to Bottom Line. Always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you very much. Uh, today's numbers, do they suggest that the pain from the rise in gas prices this spring and the supply problems from the March earthquake and tsunami in Japan are easing? Actually, the Japanese, uh, Toyota and Honda in particular, showed very dramatic declines in sales, so mm -hmm. no easing there and probably not much uh, improvement for those two manufacturers until late summer. Uh, as far as the gasoline price situation, while it has eased at the pump, uh, the automakers basically reported that they were almost out of small cars. Uh, Ford has a 20-day supply of Focus and Fiesta, so clearly people are still interested in, uh, in fuel economy. Uh, on the other side, uh, you see it on trucks, uh, it, the big SUVs uh, not doing nearly as well and right. uh, because pickup trucks are related to construction in part, uh, while the sales were up, they were not up as much as, uh, as cars. Uh, what would a recovery in auto production mean for growth in the second half of this year? Well, I think everybody's anticipating that there is going to be growth. We had a sales rate probably just a little shy of 12 million in June. And I think that it's reasonable to expect that we're going to see uh, sales for the year coming in around 13 million, which means we're going to have to get above 13 million to do that. Right. And, and that's going to mean, I think, higher production. Clearly, the auto companies are going to be running their car plants flat out no doubt. because they have low inventory. Now, Ms. Keller, our Bloomberg Industries team put together a telling graphic. It shows that the total U.S. population is projected to grow to 322 million by 2014, and that growth should benefit retailers. But longer term, the retail auto market may contract because there will be a decrease increasing number of younger drivers. What's that going to mean as far as spending on autos, parts and services is concerned? <laughs> Interesting question. Uh, you know, this is an industry that fortunately or unfortunately because of the circumstances in the last uh, couple of years has positioned itself to be profitable at a lower uh, sales rate and production rate. So uh, I think that we have to look back and at the 17, 17 and a half million sales that were sold a few years ago as an aberration. Uh, and I think the industry is positioned to be reasonably profitable, uh, though as a percentage of the economy, you're quite right. Other sectors like uh, consumer electronics, smartphones, and things like that will probably account for a somewhat higher share of our income. Uh, Ms. Keller, we have about a minute left. What can auto sales tell us about the direction of the economy and the mood and the psychology of consumers? Oh, very much, because, car, uh, because consumer sentiment is one of the drivers of, of, of car buying. And right now, with sentiment being flat to down, uh, it's not a particularly uh, pretty picture. Um, but I think these things may run in tandem. My guess is that as, uh, as we see uh, more incentives coming on cars in the, uh, as, uh, as the Japanese uh, are able to ramp up production, my, my bet is that it's going to have a positive effect on sentiment and sales. Will those incentives be forthcoming between now and the end of the year? Because I know oh. some of the automakers have been pulling some of those back. Well, there's no need to, to provide incentives if your competition has nothing to sell. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, when the Japanese are back in full force, they're going to essentially reintroduce themselves to the public, and I anticipate some very generous incentives, especially on leases. Marianne Keller, the president of consulting firm Marianne Keller & Associates, joining us from Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, Ms. Keller, thanks so much. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.